Hey everyone, we're going to show you how to see an ebook and how to open an ebook. So, when you get an ebook from your off from your publisher, or if you want to read an ebook on your computer or your iPhone or your Droid, then you're going to get an EPUB file, and you want to open that in iBooks if you can. Um, if you have a Droid, you want to open it in Google Books, <clears throat> and you also could open it in you could also open it in kindle reader so kindle viewer and you can download that on amazon um, and view it that way so what i want to show you is just kind of how an ebook looks how to navigate an ebook an ebook will have a table of contents and you can when you click it goes to that chapter and it also um you can click on the ncx viewer and it also shows the chapter list there as well so i just want to kind of show you that um, most people have notes, you can take notes. Um, but I wanted to show how an ebook will show the first page, it'll show the table of contents, and then it will scroll through. Now, right now I'm viewing it on an iMac. And as you can see, it looks like a two page book. But when you read it on the new Kindle reader, it's actually like a big PDF document that you scroll down. So it's totally different. So every device is going to look different. And I kind of want to show you that. So right now I'm on a two page spread looking at it on an iMac. But what happens if it's a phone? It's actually going to be small, right? It's going to look more like this. So notice how it looks totally different now. So let's open um, the beginning of a chapter. So here's chapter one. Notice how case selection is on one word and then is it worth the fight is on the second line. So if I open it how we had it before, see how it changed is it worth the, is on the top line. So depending on how big I make it, or even if I make it full screen, it's gonna look different. So it adjusts to the size of your screen, which means it's a flowable document. And so it still looks like a book and still looks great, but just know that if you're viewing it on a small phone, it's gonna look different than if you're on a computer or a big tablet. So that being said, if you're on a tablet and you're reading it and you have it landscape, it's going to look different than if you have it portrait. So I just want to make sure everyone understands that that's how an ebook looks and how it's different depending on your screen and your device and how what you're reading it on. Okay. So that is, you know, the way to do it. Uh, do you have any questions? Um, I don't. I thought looked pretty good to me. Okay, so I'll go ahead and stop sharing. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments or you can check us out on EliteOnlinePublishing.com and we can answer your questions there.